I had no clue that it was gonna be that bad. But I'm glad it was. What's up everybody, it's Drew, also known as KUKid99, and today was a very special day because the Jayhawks took on the Iowa State Cyclones in Hilton Coliseum and they annihilated the Cyclones by a final score of 79-53. Um, KU is now 12-2 on the season and 2-0 and in conference play. All I could say was, wow, that was incredible. But today is a KU review day, so I am going to give my KU review. For those of you who do not know, I give positive and negatives about the game. I give a player of the game and a person who needs to improve. So um, let's get this going. Positives were, what could I say? Um, their best guy on, Iowa State's best guy had five points. Holding him to under his average, which I believe was 22, was great. Um, just being more of the all-around team that we were. And we played both halves to the fullest. So that was great. Um, negatives. Oh, man. I don't really think there is any. I mean... Maybe er the early shakiness of the first half, but, I mean, we still did well. But that's probably it, and that's, like, maybe the first 10 minutes of the game. Other than that, the last 30 was amazing. Um, player of the, ga of the game. It's none of the guys who scored, like, 20. None of the guys who scored, like, like had a double-double, because I know Dot and Doak had both, I believe. I'm giving it to Christian Brown. The dude was insane. I mean, that was great. That was a great game for him. Uh, nine points, three or four from beyond the arc. He grabbed a couple. Grabbed a lot of rebounds. He was acting like a workhorse. But um, I'm gonna give it to CB for that um, player who needs to improve. God, that's that's really tough because everyone did their part. I mean, even Silvio scored, uh, but screw it. I'm going to say that really no one needs to improve because <clears throat> a lot of them did improve, um, which were my things there. So um, anyway, that's a wrap on the video. As KU got the win, 79.53, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Push that notification bell. Tell your friends about this, you know. This is actually surprising that we started out this strong with the two games we had. But the next time I will probably see you is Saturday um, at noon. And the Jayhawks take on number four Baylor. So that's it for the video. Until then, never ever bring to the field house. I can't say that. Never ever bring exotic dancers to the field house. Peace. Dang. Man, it's so hard to make these videos for kids. Because YouTube's algorithm is just kind of weird. But... What are you going to do? You have to make some sacrifices, and changing your outro is one of them.